from Hollywood. It's the Tom Likas Show. Like the way you think. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Likas 101 with your professor at 1-800-5800-TOM. Matt is listening to the online stream from San Diego on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, what's going on? It's Matt. Not much. Thank you, Matt. Uh, rough day today. For you or for me? Uh, <laughs> join the club. For me, too. Oh, boy. Uh, well, the ex-girlfriend um, with the paternity test came out today. The results. Uh-huh. Uh, thank God uh, it wasn't mine. But here's the thing. There's a lot of stress. And during the entire pregnancy, it was um, not mine. But up to the last month, it's mine. Wait, wait, what do you mean by that? What I mean by that is uh, <laughs> she starts coming around the family. She starts showing signs that it might be mine. So and it's it's not that it wasn't yours. It's that she said it wasn't yours. She said it wasn't mine after, you know, in the, as soon as she found out that she was pregnant. Because I'm in a relationship now. Of, of course, this is the ex. And um, lo and behold, it's not mine, but for the last past month, while we've been um, still seeing each other from here, from time to time, um, she tells me that... Uh, Why were you seeing someone who was pregnant? That's a good... That's especially with a girlfriend, right? That was really stupid. I agree. Lesson learned. Uh, how long have you been a student here? Um, I, I'm actually, I've been a student for a year. And when did this happen? This happened about, I mean, uh, like 10 months ago. So what do we tell you about dating uh, single mothers or pregnant women or whatever? What do we tell you? Um, <laughs> to listen. Not to do it. Not to do it, right. But you thought you knew more than I did. <laughs> What's no, so funny? It is, it's, not, it's not funny. You're the one who's screwed here, not me. I should be laughing. Well, if it was my kid, definitely. How I do you know screwed. it's not yours? Right. So let's have a party. Are you serious? Hello? I'm here. I've had enough. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Rudy of the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Long time, first time. Sure. All right. So, uh, first of all, I just want to go off and thank you so much for what you do. I appreciate it. Um, I wish I would have listened to you years ago. Um, pretty much, okay, I broke up with my ex. The reason being I broke up with her is uh, I found out she was uh, cheating on me and, uh, the way I found out is one night I was at her house reformatting her computer. And, uh, you know, so before I was going to delete everything on the hard drive, I asked her, hey, do you want to keep some of these pictures on the hard drive? And uh, and then she was like, yeah, just dig through them, keep whatever you want to keep. So I'm going through the hard drive here, and then all of a sudden I see a folder that's unnamed. So I click on it, and sure enough, it's a bunch of pictures of her having a threesome. <laughs> And she was stupid enough to let you uh, work on her computer, huh? Yeah, and the funny part is uh, when, she, when she told me to go look through her computer, she went to go take a shower. So I was in the living room all by myself digging, her, digging through her computer. So, um, so I see these pictures, and I know one of the girls. But the funny thing is that she's one of my coworkers right now. So it's, it's, there's a lot of tension still going on at the office since I know what she did with one of the girls that well, I work with. This is why I tell you, uh, by the way, not to uh, be involved with people at the office, not to have a girlfriend at age 23. Yeah, definitely. But, but definitely. You, you ignored my advice, didn't you? Yes, I did. How'd that work out for you? Well, uh, at first, I mean, I was, I was with her for three years. So at first, you know, I took it pretty hard. But then afterwards, I was just full of rage. And uh, what I ended up doing was printing out the pictures. And uh, and I mailed them to her sister, so I was extremely pissed. So then, uh, and afterwards, I I left the, I left her apartment and I left a picture on her screen with one of the you know one of the nudie pics on there of her getting down. And uh, she ended up calling me 
and I just kept rejecting her phone call. And finally, I picked up. I was like, "What do you want?" She's like, "Oh, I'm sorry. I could explain. I was drunk. Yada yada yada." So, anyways, I ended up DT being her, and then I went to Vegas with my buddies for his 21st birthday, and and I went to uh, to Costco and I bought a bulk size of Trojan condoms to celebrate. Uh, again. You know, I, I, I give this advice. Uh, what made you think you knew more than I with all the experience I have, with all the years I've been getting involved with chicks? What what made you think you knew more? Uh, I don't know. I, I guess uh, I thought it was in love, but I guess I was wrong. I was uh, manipul- manipulated, I guess, by this, by this ex. Yeah. I should have I, I uh, knew better, but... I guess you have to experience things on your own. You don't have to. You don't have to. If I tell you, if I tell you that putting your hand over the flame on your uh, gas range at home is going to burn your hand, you do not have to stick your hand in there. Correct. And if you do, you're a (laughs) moron. No, I am, Tom. I totally agree. I totally agree. And the sad part is is, uh, the ex still tries to call me every now and then, but uh, I totally just ignore her. Why do you need to have a girlfriend? Why do you even need to have a girlfriend? I don't know. I don't know why. I just. What do you mean you I don't know I, why? I guess I was. Uh, I just needed some attention, so I just kind of just. Why do you need it. to have a girlfriend? Why do you need to have a, a so-called monogamous relationship? I don't know. I guess I was insecure at the time and couldn't think I couldn't get anything. Yeah, but guess what? She went out and did what she wanted anyway. Yeah, I know. While you were fun. busy being monogamous, she was busy going out and doing whatever she wanted. Exactly. So you were so, an idiot. Exactly. And yeah, you, you, got a, you got exactly what you deserve, son. <laughs> can you take me out with the bong rip? Yes. Yes, I can. Thank you, Tom. Alex on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Yes. Long time, long time. Thank you. No problem, Father. Uh, so this is the problem. Uh, I went to a, a club a couple of months back. It was actually like a lounge or a bar. And it's a 21 and over bar. So I meet this girl, and she tells me she's from New York, Albany or something like that. And so I get her. You know, she's drunk. We're all over 21. We're drinking, having a good time. Bring her over to my pad and end up, you know, doing it. And so three months later, she adds one of my friends on MySpace and turns out she's pregnant and she's trying to contact me through my friend now. And she's trying to find uh, where I live and all this information so she can get child support. And my buddy started talking to her and actually found out she was 19. She had a fake ID, actually, when she got in. Well, she's still an adult. It's true. But uh, what do I do now? Like, (laughs) what do you do now? Followed all your rules, Tom. I mean, I've done this plenty of times. I've got away with all these women, and I mean, now I mean. Were you using a condom? Of course. I don't know how. I don't know how this happened. Like I say, you were using a condom. Yes, I did. As I I remember, I was drunk, but yeah. Well, you're not going to pay any child support unless you see a DNA test. Let's start with that. You're going to hire an attorney. Really? And you're going to pay for it too. Oh. Is there anything else we could do, or? Because we no, have no. Yeah. Stop. Hey, stop being a cheapskate. You have to hire an attorney. Really? Yes. I'm still going through and stuff. All right. But, see, because we haven't gone, I haven't got tested yet. She's supposed to fly down to California, and uh, we're supposed to go get tested or find out and stuff. Well, what was great. that one test? PBA? PMA? DNA. DNA test, sorry. Read a book. Oh, come on, Tom. I'm serious. You don't know what DNA testing is? You're so busy getting laid, you have no time to crack open a book once in a while. Yeah, Tom. I don't know. I'm trying to live by the rules, you know? You try I mean, to... I think contact me. On my face, she's 19 years old. I don't know, man. No. <laughs> Point is, if she was from Albany, New York, yeah. how did she know who you were? I give her my name and stuff. Why? I don't know. I mean... Stupid! No, it was a mistake. I mean, everyone slips, you know? No, it was stupid. If she came in from Albany, New York, that's like a free pass. Yeah, that is. But I don't know how she finds one of my buddies. Your in. name your, your name is Jose Martinez. That's your name when someone comes to town from Albany, New York. No. But I don't know my buddy. He has to add her. You know, she looks good, so he adds her on MySpace. MySpace. His office is MySpace. 
for that one caller ahead of the I mean, board, I, I, when you're on the road, what goes on the road stays on the road. So I said, that's why, did, I why did she need to have your name? Were you planning on getting married or something? Oh, I mean, it's just small talk, you know? So, it's small talk. Your name is Joe Blow. Bill Jones. What are you doing? I think I'm a feet. She's... Albany, New York is 3,000 miles away. Yeah, I know. Your name is uh, none of your effing business. That's your name. Uh, so yeah, that's it, Tom. Thanks a lot for your advice. And can you take me out tribal style? <laughs> I can. Baninge, 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 so penza. Baninge. Five eight hundred Tom one eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. We're short of commercial breaks, fewer commercials, more telephone calls than ever before. Even you have a chance to get through. That's right. And don't forget the Saturday edition of the Tom Lanka Show, 2 to 6 p.m. this Saturday on 97.1 FM Talk in Los Angeles. And at blowmeuptom.com. It's Lanka 101. This is Art. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you doing, Tom? Great. Uh, first time, sir. I've been listening to you for about six months. I uh, just want to thank you for taking my call. Sure. Uh, so, I'll ask you a question. I've been dating... Uh, my girl for about four years now. We have a You're kid how together. old? 22. Why do you have a girlfriend? You know, I just wanted to... I mean, everyone does, you know. Everyone, no, no. Everyone doesn't. People get laid. Everybody doesn't have a girlfriend. That's true. Why do you? Well, you know, you're younger and stuff, and you start going out to the movies and everything, and you know how that goes down. And I was I was even younger back then. Uh, I started listening to you now and uh, realized what I really got into, and uh, basically I'm bored now, you know. And you said you had a kid with her. I have a kid with her. Why did you do that? I didn't protect myself, man. Why not? Because I wasn't thinking right. So, in other words, you thought to yourself, you know what? I'm never going to amount to anything in life anyway. Who cares? Right. Right? Right. You're, you're a loser today, and you're going to be a loser for the next 60 years until you die. Well, I hope not. that's not the case. Well, <laughs> pal, that's how you treated the situation. If you thought you were ever going to amount to anything, you wouldn't have had sex without a condom and ran the risk of having a baby. Yeah, I wasn't thinking, man. I you weren't was thinking because you didn't think there was any reason to. You didn't think you had anything to look forward to in life. Yep. Right? Right. So she wants to move You thought you now. were going to continue being the same loser. Now, let me guess. What college do you go to? Bonham Young University? Uh, no, I go to community college. You're 22. I and know. you're still in the 13th grade. Yep. Yeah, that's why, because you were busy getting laid all those years. That's why you weren't in college. She wants She wants to move out. Great. She want, She currently has me, uh, had me paying child support. Did, uh, did, was that ever adjudicated by a family court? Yeah, it was. It was. She, she closed the case now, but uh, they basically stopped obligating me to make any payments in order for the case to close out completely. They want us to go to court so she can waive her uh, her rights. Now, my question is, do you think it's a good idea to move out? And how Why do don't that? you have an attorney, Art? I had one when I... Uh, no, why don't you have one today? You can't afford one right now. Pal, then you couldn't afford to be an adult. You couldn't afford to have a baby. You can't afford to have a baby mama. Yeah. Uh. Well, you can't afford to have an attorney. You can't afford any of that stuff. You need an attorney. Well, she she tells me once we move out and everything. That I don't care what she tells you. She'll say whatever she has to say. <laughs> Who gives a rat's ass what she tells you? She probably hey, told you. She probably told you she couldn't get pregnant. Also, 
Yeah, she did, actually. There we go. We thought she couldn't. Why did you believe that? What was the uh, reason she couldn't get pregnant? Doctor told her she couldn't get pregnant? She used that old uh, chestnut? No, well, she just, like, we thought she couldn't get pregnant. Why would she think she couldn't get pregnant? Well, she told me. I didn't ever ask her why, you know. Oh, <laughs> what did you <laughs> care? Damn the torpedoes. Um, I want to thank you for uh, taking my call. Can you take me out, Kobe style? Sure. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. God, she's killing me. She's killing me. He's killing me. One eight hundred. I don't want to have a dirty egg on a board phone. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Here's Brittany of the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Brittany. Hi. Hi. How are you? Great. Um, I'm like the typical you know woman that you quote unquote. Warn men of. Oh, I don't quote unquote uh, warn them. I actually warn them. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Anywho, um, I have a daughter. She's five months. Um, my child's father and I was dating for about six months before I became pregnant. Um, make a long story short, you know, I kind of sort of, you know, lied to him and said I was on birth control and I really wasn't, you know, and I got pregnant. So you're exactly what I warned the guys about. You're calling. No, no. Yeah. But see, the thing is that I told him from jump that I think I could not have kids, okay? I told him that I never got pregnant pri prior, excuse me, I'm kind of nervous, prior to, you know, dating him. So I didn't think I can have kids. Why would you think that? Because I was in a long-term relationship before I met him, and I never got pregnant. So, so you've fine. never used a condom in your entire life? No, no, no. I have. I have. I have. But I'm saying, well, like... Well, that might be the reason you didn't get pregnant. I just said, <laughs> prior to him, I was in a long-term relationship, and I didn't use a condom with him. So I thought, you know, I couldn't get pregnant, so... You know, but my whole thing is that you say, you know, women lie about birth control yes. and yada, yada, yada. Okay. But it's still, you know, his bad because even though I told him I was on birth control, he still should have wore a condom. I so tell the guys that all, I tell the, the guys that all the time. I tell the guys that all the time. I tell them that all the time. Exactly. So, you know, and both but of because both women like you are liars. Men must wear a condom all the time in case they're with you or somebody like you. But you know what, though? He never asked me to get on birth control. The whole birth control was my idea anyway. He, We already was having unprotected sex. He never not once asked me to go get on birth control. It was my idea. Well, so, if it was your idea, why didn't you do it? Because, like I said, I thought it would be a waste of time. I was like, what's the point? What's the use? <laughs> you had just been incredibly lucky. Yeah, that's what my parents say, yeah. Or <laughs> well, maybe the guy you were with before was impotent. And that's what they said, too, yeah. But, I mean, you know, I wasn't thinking, you know, um, he's he only take care of financially. He say he don't want to be a part of something that he didn't want in the first place. And I'm like, you know what, you don't have to be there, but as long as you take care of her financially, that's fine. So I get like five hundred dollars a month, you know, from him. So, you know, so, so you you committed fraud, by, which is legal fraud, by the way, by lying to him about being on birth control, and now you get to collect six thousand dollars a year as a result of committing legal and you fraud. Know, and you know what? Another thing, I listen to you all the time, Tom. And uh, what you don't know is that I spoke to the child support people, and they said no matter if. A woman lied to a man and said she was on. Oh, birth darling, no, 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 no. I, I know that. I know and that. You have to take. Care I know, of darling. I nobody knows that better than I do. That's why I tell these guys so never how did I commit fraud. How did, and that's well, no, I said I it was, hey, darling. You weren't listening. I said legal fraud. It's still fraud. It's just legal fraud. 
I mean, like I said, he's a student just like I'm a student. You know, he go to USC. I go to school for respiratory therapy, you know, so we both students, you know. So it's like you say I committed fraud. Like, basically, I just you wanted his money. But it's like we're both students. So he don't have nothing yet. Just like I don't, you know. So it, it's not. So it's how are you supporting a baby if you have nothing? I mean, I have a job, you know, and you just I said you parents, had nothing, you know, supportive. Parents. So now your parents have to support. Yo, if you were my kid, I wouldn't give you one penny, not a penny. Oh, really? Say you're oh, really? on your See? own. You can't say what you, you would or slut. would not do because you don't have kids, though. So how now, do I'm you know Trust you me when I tell you I'm a proponent of tough love. I've had issues in my family, and I've had issues with people like you who just want to live off other people. I always say no. Wait, 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 wait. Live off of other people? Right. Excuse me? If your Excuse parents have to support for? your if your parents have to support your baby, that means you're living off other people. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been in school. I, I, you know how I would much not money be... respiratory therapists make a year? The minute you Excuse went me? out and had an Excuse illegitimate me? child, you'd be off the list. You'd be off the list. You would not be helped at all. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-8666. The Tom Likas Show. Likas 101. I am your professor. Don't forget our Saturday show every Saturday, 2 to 6 p.m. Pacific Time on 97.1 FM Talk. And at blowmeuptom.com. If you don't live in Southern California and you'd like to hear that show, it's Saturday, 2 to 6 p.m. Pacific time. We're now heard six days a week here in Southern California. Don't forget the Saturday show, 2 to 6 Saturday. Like us 101 with your professor at 1 800 5800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Mike on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? It's going great. Hey, I just, you know, normally I agree with you 100% of the time, but tonight I'm being a little hard on the gentleman. How so? Well, you know, I need these guys in my life. I need garbage collectors. I need guys to wash my car. I need guys to come over and do the handiwork around my house. Yeah, well, I, I say that all the time. I'm going to need that 1995 oil change. That's right. And everybody who knocks up their girlfriend makes that possible. Yes, they do. I mean... You know, the world needs these folks, too. And no doubt uh, we need people to hand out coupons for Quiznos at the mall and stuff like that. There's no doubt about it. Absolutely. I mean, I'm not a big fan of fast food, but I do like my subway once in a while. And, you know, I do need servers. You wouldn't you wouldn't have $5 footlongs without guys who, uh, who had delivered the footlongs to others. Yeah, I mean, at least keep them working just enough so they're on the door and I don't have to pay for it. Thank you, Mike, for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Chris on Likus 101 with your professor. Hello. Father, it's an honor. Long time, first time. Thank you. I uh, finally grew some cojones, and I DTV. My old chick, we lived together. I got my own place, just like you, you preach to us every, every Thursday. Very nice. The best part about the whole thing is she's still DTF, and we F a lot. Now, I always wear a rubber. No, don't trust the whole I'm on birth control BS. My question is, am I? should I spend the night every once in a no. while? No. One more time? No. That's what, I, that's what I was telling myself. No, don't. Because the next morning there's that awkwardness of almost like a couple again. But I'll tell you what, to all you guys out there who think, you know, in this economy, it's best to have a roommate. And why not my girlfriend? She's cool. No, don't. I got, I rent a room for my house and a fr basically a frat house with like six guys. We have this huge house in Sunset Beach. I get more A than a toilet seat than you can ever imagine, than I ever imagined. And I'm, my, everything is great. My schooling's better. I'm getting better grades at school. I don't stress. Work, I mean, I go to work and I focus. I don't have to worry about something happening at home and having to, leave work early and go deal with her BS. I mean, I'm working, I'm busting my butt out here. I'm an uh, electrician. I mean, I'm working 60, 80 hour a week. I don't even have to go home. I sleep in my car one night and I don't have to worry about hearing her pissing and moaning that 
I was lonely last night. You don't got to worry about me doing what I'm doing. I'm out making money. I, I love that. Just, I just wanted to thank you. You know, I've been listening to you since I moved to L.A. You got me through high school puberty, all that BS, and now I'm just, you know, I'm more days in a toilet seat, more than I can even handle, to be honest with you. I'm, my phone is off the hook, text messages. I mean, I have a... It's stupid. I, I think I'm... Well, I don't really care if I get caught up. I have a black book to keep me straight up in line with, with girls because, I mean... It's, it's it's difficult to go from one girl to six to juggling, you know, but it's um <laughs> it's a duty that I hold dear to my heart. I understand. Well, Chris, thank you for telling us all about that. I think it's fantastic. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom like us one oh one with your professor with David. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, David. How are you doing today? Do you care? Uh, of course I do, Tom. Doing great. Well, here's my story, Tom. I was dating this girl for about six months, and she came up, uh, one day she comes to tell me that she's pregnant. Okay, not knowing that I have had I have had a vasectomy three years before I even met her. <laughs> I love that. Okay, but, you know, so, you know, I, I gave her the benefit of the doubt, so I thought to myself, I go, you know what, um, I'm going to make an appointment with my doctor. I hadn't told her I had the vasectomy yet. I told her, I'm going to make an appointment with my doctor the next day, you know, get it checked out, make sure it worked there, you know, it didn't come back, you know. So I went the next day. Uh, I had told the doctor, you know, you know, uh, I want to check to make sure, you know, my soldiers started marching again. So, you know, he, we did the test. Took a couple of days for these all to come back. Turned out, no, my soldiers are not marching. So I called her up that day. I told her, you know what, let's go out to dinner, you know, so we can celebrate, you know, make plans and everything. So we went out, took her to a nice restaurant, sat down, ordered a nice bottle of champagne, you know, I saw the waiter coming with the champagne. I excused myself, so I had to go to the bathroom. Went outside, got in my car, left. A few minutes later, I called up and told her she was a lying bitch. I had a vasectomy, and I checked with my doctor, and it's not happening. <laughs> How did she react to that? Oh, she she couldn't believe it. No, it's you. It's got to be you. If there's no one else. I go, it's impossible. I go, I have the test results here. I go, it is not mine. So you better go find out who the daddy is. And I don't ever want to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> did she? Uh, did she argue or yell at you? Or I didn't. I didn't give her the chance. I just hung up. She started texting me and calling me, but uh, I don't answer and I don't uh, reply to any of her texts. <laughs> what a slime! Yeah, I'm telling you, Tom. Hey, Tom, I got one quick question. Who? Um, who picks your music on your intros? Because they uh, have very good taste. That's done by my boys uh, Gary and Dino. Well, tell them they have good taste in their music. I will. All right. All right, Tom. Take me out with a bong hit and a thank you, Jesus. Here you go, David. Thank you, Jesus. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's like us 101 with your professor, Ryan. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Great. Yeah, uh, I have a girlfriend, and she won't go on birth control. You are how you old? You are how old? 21. Why do you have a girlfriend? Uh, well, she's not really a girlfriend. It's more of like a, uh, an ass buddy. But uh, so, I mean, so then you have sex with various women. Yeah, yeah. Really? But uh, I mean, it, we we go on. Dates. Why do you call her your girlfriend when you called in? Uh, because she's been uh, my ass buddy for probably like four or five months now. It's getting progressively serious. But why? I guess, I guess, why do you you don't want it getting serious? Oh, no, I definitely don't want it, but I then, mean... Then it should stop now. So you think because she doesn't want to use the uh, birth control... You didn't even tell me that yet. You told that to Dean. You didn't tell me. Oh. She yeah, doesn't, she want, doesn't to want to use birth control? I, now, have you used condoms previously? Uh, previously, yes, but now she doesn't. Yeah, and, and did she say why she doesn't want you using them? Uh, she won't give she won't give me a reason other than that she thinks that it feels better for her. What do you think the reason is? Well, based on your on your show, I I'd have to assume that she wants a baby. But well, also I, you you said that she's not using any birth control. That's correct. Why not? Uh, she will not tell me. <laughs> Son, you know the answer. 
Yeah, according according to your show, I do know the answer, but I mean, it just doesn't seem like she wants a baby. Well, I, well, I could without, be wrong. Any be, woman who won't use birth control, and especially who won't you let you use birth control, wants to have a baby. Yeah, I guess I guess family. Uh, my brother's in the same situation. Uh, he doesn't listen to your show, but he's dating uh, a single mother. She has three children. Uh, Wait, we'll, we'll get, we're not talking about him. We're talking about you. <laughs> Hello? I'm here. Oh, I'm sorry. What did you say before that? I said we're not talking about him. We're talking about you. Yeah, I'm just saying... Uh, so what are you thing. going to do? Uh, that's why I called you. I'm looking for advice on this. Out! That's that's my advice. Out! Completely ended? Completely. Never, never talked to her again. Never had sex Ever. Ever. Pretty hardcore, Tom. You don't want to have a baby. I definitely don't. This is how you go without having a baby. Do you know how many women I cut off at the knees when I was your age, son? I'm curious, Tom. How many? Many. Okay. And the result oh. is I didn't have a baby. <clears throat> Interesting. Yeah, I'm just, the sex is great, uh, but I guess I could always go finding more. That's right. So that's the best advice. That's my advice. Uh, uh, take me out old school. I'll take you out old school. Here you go. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. Tom Likas show from Hollywood at 1-800-5800-TOM. Likas 101. I am your professor, Ricky. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi. Hi. Well, that was enlightening. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Gary on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Dad. How are you? Doing okay, son. Listen, I, uh, I've made all the mistakes. I'm 51 years old, and I uh, gave up a girl who didn't ever want to have kids for a girl who tricked me into having a kid. <sighs> That's over with. I paid the child support. I'm done with that. Now I'm with a woman who has two kids, and they're both teenagers, and they're both useless children. Uh, the 19 year old needs tough love. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I have, I've tried everything. He sits on the couch. He gets in trouble. He's going to court today, uh, or tomorrow, actually. And, uh, I, I don't, she's a wonderful woman, but she's got these two kids. And I know what you say. I know you're going to tell me, don't ever touch a woman with kids. But I did it. And I, I, how do I get out of this thing? I mean, I can just walk away, but. Why, and, and, and why not? Well, I guess I should. You know, I guess that's, you know, it goes against all the rules, and I and I like the rules. It's funny because I started listening to you four years ago, and I met her about a year later, and she had the two kids, and they were, you know, 14 and 15 or something. And, and I for thought, some reason yeah. you thought you knew more than the professor. I thought I knew more than you, and this was going to be perfect. And it was going to—I just outlived the kids, and then once the kids are gone, we're going to have a great life. And it—it's uh, just been a complete disaster. It's—it's it's, with her, it's fine, but with the kids, it's terrible. Now, what else did you tell Dean that you haven't told me? Oh, I don't know. Dean asked me a lot of questions, and and he's a—he's <laughs> actually pretty smart. Well, of course, you got a guy named Gary working for you, so obviously you know what you're doing. There you go. Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Where, where are you going? Tell me what you want me to tell you. You told Dean that she cheated on you. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she did. Well, That's she pretty significant. She broke up with me, and then she cheated on me. So why would you want to hang around? She's I, a drama I queen. She's scandalous. She's got useless children. Why are you there? I think that's I think that's two strikes against her. What's the third strike? I mean, how, do I put any more effort into this or not? No, move on, move on. Why don't you have a bullpen? What are you doing? 
I don't know. I'm 51 years old. I have a four-year degree. I've been in the film business for 20 years. I, you should I, be able to get young chicks hand over fist. I I fight. They're they're out there and I and they're available. So why aren't you doing that? I I because I'm not listening to the rules. That's the rules. You if you have the name of a film company on your business card, that's it in Los Angeles. You're gonna get laid, and you know this, Gary. I know, I know, Tom, but I just thought... I do my show. The... By the way, if I didn't have a radio show, I walk around, I've got the uh, identification, the official identification of one of the biggest film studios in Hollywood because we do our show from a, an unnamed film studio. just happens to be in the vicinity of uh, Melrose and Gower, but I'm not allowed to say which one at. it is. I, I've got the actual ID, my photo ID, my photo ID. I mean... I just wear that around my neck. That's all you have to do. Bam! I don't even know why I called you, because I knew what you were going to say. It wasn't like it was going to be a mystery. So, I mean, why wouldn't you be taking advantage of this? Why are you allowing yourself to be brutalized this way? Well, the only reason I called was because I, I want to let the, these young kids know that there's absolutely no excuse for this behavior. I'm 51 years old. Yeah, 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 but the, yeah, what the, you know, what, raising children is not your problem. I know it, and I don't want to raise them. I just so I, you shouldn't be telling them anything. I feel, I feel. You know what? I don't really care what happens. I mean, do you live kids. with this chick and these kids? I know I don't live with them. So why are you even having this conversation? I don't know. I just wanted to. You know what I thought? I, I listen to you every night on the way home from the studio, and I and I just thought it was time to tell these kids that you're right. You know, that you've got this figured out and they should listen to you and uh, keep screwing up their lives. Well, uh, on the way out the door, you should tell them they should tune in to find out why you're leaving. Well, I want to tell my 18-year-old, no, my 21-year-old son, I want to tell him to listen to you instead of me. Well, there you go. So he doesn't screw up his life like I've done mine. And, you know, and it isn't that terrible. It's not the end of the world, but... It, you're absolutely right, and and I know a lot of people say, "Oh, Tom is just entertainment, and it doesn't mean anything." Well, it does. He's right. You know, you are right. Gary, thank you for that. Good luck to you, Gina. I like us one on one with your professor. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi, Tom. How are you today? Great. I just wanted to call because I've been listening to you for a while. Actually, my dad turned me on to listening to you. And I wanted to say, I'm 27, I'm a single mom, and I take care of my kids. I don't need their fathers to give... Hey, 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 zero tolerance policy. Yeah! You can't say the S word on the air, my God. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Luis on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, what's up, Tom? What's that deal? Not much, doing a radio program, you know the deal. I just want to let you know that, um, you know, I've been banging out, like, the same group of girls for the last three years or so, and I just bang them out and, you know, pretty much treat them like dirt, and, you know, when one dumps me, the other one will start talking to me about the other one and what happened, and, you know, I'm just, I like having fun, but then when they invite me to parties and such things, I just get really wasted the night before and I won't show up come up with lame excuses, and so far the last one hasn't done me. I don't know what to do. I mean, I'm kind of feeling guilty, you know? Why are you feeling guilty? You know, I'm funny to talk to you, you know, because I shouldn't feel guilty because, I mean, it feels good at the end, and I'm, I'm, I'm doing the, you know, the greatest thing. You know, as long as you're getting thought. what you want to get, that's it. That's That's the deal. When did you get a conscience? I don't need well, your phone's cutting out, but if you have a conscience, just get rid of it. For God's sake. Adam on Likus 101. Hello. How you doing, Dad? Doing okay, son. I want to tell you thank you for saving my life. Tell me more. I had a, I had a girlfriend for years. I've been a Likus listener, and I was failing in my 101 studies. And I finally wised up and dumped that bitch. And now she's latched on to some other guy, moved in with him, and he got her pregnant. <laughs> and I dodged that bullet thanks to you, Dad. There you go, son. Now I'm single, living by myself, getting more you-know-what than a litter box. It's all about hooking up. That's right. 
And I gotta tell you that Valentine's Day this year is the only year I haven't been scared for Valentine's Day. Good for you. It's the best year ever. Go to the bar, find all the lonely ones. It's like fishing with dynamite. <laughs> That sounds good to me. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Steve on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Dad. How are you? All right, son. Okay, I got a little dilemma because I've been listening to you for years, and you told me at the first time to break up with the first girlfriend who had kids, and I did it. Are you there? Yes. And I did it, and then I went back with the other girlfriend with the kids with a new one. And now, you know, I'm debating whether I should stay because the problem, like the first one, came on again. You know what I mean? Yes. Uh, she lost her job. Do I hear uh, children over there? Yeah, well, I'm watching her kids. So. What? 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 I'm watching her kids. She went out to the mall. So Why are you babysitting for anybody? For my uh, girlfriend. That is somebody else's problem, not yours. I know, but to have her, she said you need to, so. Why do you agree to that? I mean, because there's no other options. I'm desperate. What do you mean there's no other options? You you have no game? Uh, no, I mean, you tell me how. Can I? I you mean, can't you find it, chicks? so easy. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, th this is you what you have to seem... this is what you have to put up with to get laid? I mean, you make it seem so easy though, like it's like so easy and then you know, you tell me how. You tell me what to do. Well, I'm telling you if I'd ra I'd rather spend the night at home with Rosie Palmer than listen to that. Who's that? Uh, one day you'll find out, baby. Um, so, I mean, could you give me, like, an opinion of what to do? How about developing some game? Figure out how to pick up chicks? I mean, I tried, and it doesn't work, though. So. <laughs> well, Steve, all I can tell you is I haven't watched you operate. But how pathetic, uh, I mean, you... how pathetic are you? You're a babysitter now. I mean, could you give... Do you guys know you guys give lessons, or... Well, I'll tell you what, I, I don't know what I can do for you. Unbelievable. The Tom Likas Show.